Remember how I told you that I usually do these videos based on what I've been struggling with the week prior? Well, this week is no different because it has been, it has been a rough week. Let's talk about being lonely. What's up y'all, it's Rachel Elizabeth and you're watching Real Talk with Rach. This series is all about real things, the things that we don't necessarily like to talk about, but we need to discuss because I believe that the things that are hard to talk about are usually the things that lead to deeper healing and self-discovery and purpose and yeah, all those great things that we're not gonna get to if we just keep conversation on a surface level. And Cause Fitness is all about fitness in every aspect of life. And if we don't talk about these things, we can't be about these things because we haven't discussed them, we haven't thought about them and dialogued about them and worked through them. And you know what? I, I just believe that the hard things are what make life beautiful. So that's a great segue into this week's topic of loneliness. It's funny because even when I don't know exactly what I'm going to talk about and I just, I just pray and ask God to give me the words like he gave Moses <laughs> and I hit record and something comes out, it usually has to do with something that has been on my heart at least, even if I didn't want to talk about it at first. And this week's no different. I definitely didn't want to talk about this because you know what? I don't want to be lonely and I don't want to admit that I'm lonely because I don't want pity. I'm not talking about this so that you guys feel sorry for me. I'm not talking about this because I don't have friends to go be with. That has nothing to do with it. The truth is the dictionary definition of lonely, it doesn't even come close to describing what real lonely really is. Those of you who've experienced loneliness, which is everyone, at some point or another, you guys know that the dictionary definition of just being isolated and not being around people, like that doesn't even come close to describing what true loneliness is. True loneliness is that feeling that you're alone even when you're in a crowded room. It's that feeling of being completely, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like this longing for something or I just wanna be known. But it's more than that too. And yet, those words are revealing in themselves because that is part of it. Let me explain. So, first of all, the struggle is real. I think everyone can relate to this in some degree or another. And it also holds true that you can feel loneliness even if you're in a relationship. So it's not about being single. And man, guys, there's something God has been teaching me about loneliness in this season of my life that is so painful. <laughs> No joke, so painful and yet so good. This past week, it's been really intense, really intensely painful to be completely transparent. It's been really a struggle, but this intense loneliness has caused me to reach out to God and kind of do some research on it too. Like, what does God have to say about loneliness? What, what is it? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it like, did it come before or after the fall? And for those of you who don't know what that means, it just means that in the story of creation, God created the perfect world and created man in this perfect world. And he created woman in this perfect world. And then those perfect people were given free will in order to choose or reject God. And they were given one thing in the entire world as they knew it to avoid. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, human nature kicked in and they used their free will to disobey God. And that one act of disobedience in this perfect world shattered the perfection and basically let sin and everything that is the opposite of God into the world. But I wanted to see if God allowed for loneliness or if he didn't and loneliness is a bad thing Basically, I wanted to know if loneliness was something of God or something of sin. So I had to go to God and I had to do some research to find out which it was. Guess what I found out? There was loneliness in the Garden of Eden before sin entered the picture. Guys, this is huge because first of all, God is not bad. God is all good all the time and everything he created is good, but in Genesis 2, verse 18, I believe, it says that God created man and man was alone and it wasn't good. God actually said, it's not good for man to be alone. And then he created Eve, Adam's wife. 
the woman. And I just thought that was really interesting because God doesn't do anything bad. And yet, before sin entered the picture, he literally said, it is not good. And the fact that he said it's not good about anything is pretty major. But it was attached to man being alone. And that was really revealing of God's character because truth is, he created man to be in relationship. He created man to be in relationship with him. He created humans, men and women alike, to experience relationship because God himself is relationship. In the Trinity, he is innately relationship, just as he is love personified. So it was really interesting to see that he allowed for loneliness before he created woman and before sin entered the picture. So it's saying that there is loneliness or there was loneliness before sin, which means loneliness isn't necessarily a bad thing, but to just sit in loneliness, it is not good. So for man to be alone, to be lonely is not good. But it was before sin, so loneliness is not a sin. So if you guys follow so far, hang in there with me. I need you guys to know that the purpose of loneliness was to point us back to God. Now, in that exact verse, it says it's not good for man to be alone, and then God created Eve. I believe that loneliness is actually a good thing when it's viewed in a healthy way. Loneliness can be a bad thing. And before I explain why it's a good thing, let me explain why it can be dangerous. Loneliness, if not used as a reminder to point us back to God, to make less of ourselves and more of Him, to glorify Him over our own selves and our own needs and our own selfish desires. If it's used to glorify Him, to make much of Him, to turn our hearts back to Him, to remind us of Him and how good He is and who He is and what He's done for us, if it's not for that, it will turn us to other people and to other things and nothing but God can satisfy that desire, that that longing that loneliness comes from. Now, this is why, this is exactly why, you can be lonely whatever your relationship status. You can be lonely when you're single, the same as you can be lonely when you're married. And hear me right now, you can be more lonely in marriage if you think that marriage is going to be the answer to your loneliness. Only God is the answer for your loneliness. The one who created your soul with that longing is the only one who can fulfill that longing. Before the fall, God allowed for loneliness. He's the one that did that so that you would turn back to him, the only one who can fulfill that longing. Eve was created after God said it's not good for a man to be alone, but Eve was created to be Adam's wife. And biblically, marriage is a reflection of the relationship between God and humanity, his people, the ones that know him and he knows them and it's an intimate relationship. Marriage was designed to point us back to God. And when we're single and we feel that longing, it's to point us back to God. Loneliness is always, regardless of our state, to point us back to God. So it's a good thing. Now, when you are lonely and you turn to God and that feeling doesn't go away, I believe God's trying to teach you something in that. The same way he's been teaching me something in it and he's still teaching me something in it because I am in no way, shape or form completely okay with loneliness. In fact, I think that partly that loneliness is gonna stick around no matter what my state because until we're reunited with God, until that moment, we were designed with this longing, this desire to be with him. If we didn't have that desire or that longing, if we didn't have loneliness, we would forget about him entirely. We would not need to fill a need anymore. But because we have that longing, that loneliness, we, we seek that in other people, other things, or we seek it in God. And when we seek it in God, we find out how beautiful he is and we put him, we esteem him higher than anybody else and any other thing. And he fulfills our needs and our desires when we put him first. So I hope that I can encourage you in your loneliness or even in your singleness. Like this is a really special season, regardless of how it feels, because Lord knows it doesn't feel good. And I'm saying that from personal experience, something I'm going through right now, it doesn't feel good, but it's doing something good. Your feelings aren't what you should base your life or your existence or your wellness on, okay? Truth is your feelings are not the gauge. Truth is the gauge. And the truth is God is number one. Bottom line, 
always, God gets to be glorified. And John 3.30 says, He must increase, and I must decrease. So let's make much of Him and make less of ourselves. And yes, that's gonna hurt, but it's going to glorify God and he's going to reward that and he's going to bless that and he's going to make sure that all of your needs are met and then some and to him who is able to do abundantly more than anything we can ask or imagine, to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so now that we know that loneliness is a good thing, even if it feels like a bad thing, can we please just encourage each other? Because my gosh, I don't need pity, but I need you guys. The same way I need community and good relationships with people and friends around me, the same reason I need to give, the same reason you need to give in order to pour ourselves out, because the more we give, the more of God we get. It's just how it works. It's a really beautiful mystery, but the less there is of us, the more room there is for him. So seek him, give, pour out to others, love until you break, and keep loving regardless of how it feels. When it sucks, love anyway. When it hurts, love anyway. And remember that God only gave us two commandments that cover everything else, and they did not include love yourself. First and greatest commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and love others as yourself. Which means you put God first, other people second, and yourself last. That doesn't mean no healthy boundaries. That means when you're putting God first, you trust him to take care of you. And then he gives you everything you need and then some to take care of other people. So it's this beautiful mystery, like I said, but you're never gonna be neglected because God says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. And he gives you everything you need and more, everything you need and more, everything you need and more. So you're never lacking. Even if you're feeling that loneliness, you are never lacking. Let it work itself out. Let God teach you what he wants to teach you. And you're gonna be so much better off, I promise. But keep giving keep pouring out and let him fill you. All right, guys, I love you. I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful week. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions, any topics you want me to cover in the comments below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support what I'm doing here, the ministry and mission behind Cause Fitness, please visit my Patreon page. I'll put a link over here and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, I want you to tell me if you have ever experienced loneliness or not. Tell me if I'm crazy, but pretty sure that that is a common denominator in the human condition. Let me know, yes or no, go.